Hello guys, welcome back. So I want to do a quick review on this powder that I have right here and it's made by e.l.f. It's the e.l.f. High Definition Powder. So this is a translucent powder. It's supposed to create a flawless look on your face, give your face like a flawless finish. It's supposed to create like a flawless effect on your skin on your face. It's supposed to make your skin look smooth. It's supposed to give you a glow. It's supposed to give you like a radiant complexion. And you can use it alone or on, over your makeup, you know, to set your foundation and stuff. So that sounds good, right? And I got this from Target for about $6. So the powder comes in a black container like this. And you open it up and there's a little powder puff right here. And the powder is in there, right there. And the powder looks something like that. It's very smooth, very fine milled, like it's very, very soft and velvety texture. Like it is so smooth. That's one thing I love about it. Like when you put it on, it just easily glides and just like smooths over your face. I like that about it. You know, the powder particles are finely grounded. It's very, very smooth. And that's what makes it easy to like easily blend it on your face because it's so smooth. It's a very soft, silky powder. And obviously, um, I didn't use the puff to apply it. I always use my um, brush to apply it on my face. Review. I tried to make this powder work for me. I try to use it you know, alone, and I try to use it to set my foundation. I used it over my I use it over my pressed powder, and I've also used it under my eye to set my concealer. And the only thing I like about this powder is the fact that it's six dollars. The texture of the powder is very, very silky and very, very soft, and it just goes on very smooth on my face. That I like about it. And the powder did not break me out, so that I also like about it. And for me, I have oily skin. And, you know, what I would say about this powder is that the first time I used it, I, you know, I tried so many ways for this powder to work. So, and the reason why I bought it was just to, you know, set my liquid foundation and things like that. And so the first time I used I have oily skin by the way, the first time I used it, I, you know, used it all over my face. And at first, when I first put it on, everything looked so smooth. I was like, wow, it looks really good. And like 30 minutes later, my face was like so rough and it was just a big mess and it was just oily, rough, and I was not feeling I had to go wash my face. And so I was like, okay, that didn't work. I was like, okay, let me use it to set my powder my um, pressed powder, so I put my pressed powder on and then I put the powder on top of it. Same thing ha happened. 30 minutes later, my face was an oily, rough mess. So that didn't work out. So I, buy I was about to give up on this powder. So I was like, you know what? Let me use it to set under my eyes. Maybe that will work better. <laughs> and let me tell you, it was like ghost face killer. Let me tell you, I put my, con I put my concealer under my eye and I put this powder to set it under my eye. It looked good let me don't get me wrong under my eye was so smooth and so good looking I was like damn you know and next thing you know I took a picture and under my eye was like a white cast it was a big mess it was it does not do good on the pictures like your face if you take a picture your face will be looking like ghost face kill I swear your face will be looking so white you know I did not like it because of that. You know, I took a picture, my whole face was a ghost face mess. Like, it was like, like somebody poured a whole flower powder all over my face. Like, my face was like flowery white in pictures. And that is not cool at all. So overall, I did not have a good experience with this powder. Number one, it made my face oily. It made my face look rough. I mean, at first when I applied it, it looked smooth. And then like 30 minutes later, I tried it multiple times. My face was an oily, rough mess. And also, it does not photograph well. I put it under my eye, and at first it looked good. And then you go ahead and take a picture, and you are like a powder mess. Your face is so... My face looks so ghost-like. Anyways... I don't know, I'm not, this is going in the garbage, this is going in the trash, thank God it was only $6, amen to that, because I can't return it now, I got it from Target, Target has a bad return policy, so anyways, this was no, a no-go for me, I'm not going to be using this 
I haven't even I haven't used it in a while actually I'm just making this review um so yeah that's my review for this I did not like it thumbs down boo anyways that's it I will talk to you guys later bye